In this video, we're going to show you how to build Stepmania from source code on Windows. We're going to be using Visual C++ 2005 Express Edition because it's free. Uh, you can use other versions of Visual C++ if you have them. Currently, it builds in 2003 and 2005. You can also use 2005 Professional or Enterprise. We'll stick with the free one, though. So you're going to need four things to build Stepmania. Number one, you need to download Visual C++ 2005 Express from Microsoft. Number two, you'll need to update Visual C++ 2005 Express to SP1. And if you don't update to SP1, you're going to get a link error that talks about the STL exception class. You'll get unresolved link error, STD exception raise, or something like that. So as you can see here, I have SP1 installed. And then number three and number four, you're going to need two different SDKs. So you can look and see here that I have them installed. You're going to need number three, the DirectX 9.0 SDK. Now other versions of the SDK do work. Any one above eight should work. We have the latest installed at the time. It's this summer 2004 one. And then you'll also need the platform SDK, which contains a bunch of Windows libraries and headers. So at the time of this recording, this is the current one. Platform SDK for Windows Server 2003 R2. Don't be fooled, it works on Windows XP and Vista also, even though it says Windows Server 2003 R2. So the trickiest part of getting this all to work is that you're going to need to manually tell Visual C++ where to find these new includes and library files. So we're going to go over to Visual C++. And these instructions are the same for all versions of Visual C++ 2003 and newer. Then we're going to go to Tools, Options. And over here on the left we're going to choose projects and solutions, and then Visual C++ directories. And then these are the directories where Visual C++ will look for your files. We want to change to show directories for include files. Then we're going to add an entry here. Browse. Program files. And the first thing we're going to do is add an entry for the DirectX SDK. Double click on include and then open to add the line. And now Visual C++ will find our DirectX includes here. And now we're going to go and do the same for the platform SDK. Include and open. Now there are two more include subdirectories we need to add in the platform SDK. And those are include ATL open and include MFC open. So that's it for the include files. You should have four entries listed here. Now we'll change to library files. New entry. Browse. Program files. DirectX SDK. Lib. Open. Now we have our one entry for DirectX library files. Add another one for, you guessed it, platform SDK, lib, open, and that's it. Now we're going to open our project file, my project happens to be at c clone backslash cvs backslash stepmania source. And then you want to open the solution file, the .sln file, for whatever version of Visual Studio you have, in my case, 2005. 
And then, if I typed all that in correctly, we'll rebuild and we'll see if it completes. And here, about 10 minutes later on my system at least, we see that it succeeded. We had a few warnings, but nothing's stopping us from playing. I hope it worked for you.